Today I'm gonna show you how you can easily export issues, pull requests, commit history and more from GitHub using the GitHub Artifact Exporter. This is a 3 minutes Friday. Hi everybody, welcome back to Coder Day where we talk about DevOps, especially with GitHub and Azure DevOps. And welcome to a new episode of the 3 Minutes series. As you know, in each episode, I will try and explain a concept, showcase a product or a service, or yet try and teach you something and only just way more than 3 minutes today. As I've mentioned today, we talk about exporting data from GitHub thanks to the newly announced GitHub Artifact Exporter. But let's start the clock and get into it. GitHub Artifact Exporter provides a CLI and a simple GUI for exporting GitHub issues and related comments based on date range, and it supports GitHub's full search syntax, allowing you to filter results based on your search parameters. And the CLI? CLI. And the CLI also allows you to export comments, pull requests, including the comments, milestones, projects, and releases. You can export all of that in multiple formats because it supports JSON, JSON lines, CSV, and Jira formatted CSVs. And of course, if you export in CSV, it also means that you can open that in Excel. Isn't it cool? There are a few prerequisites you need to be aware to run the project. First of all, this is a Lerna project, so it means that you need to have Lerna installed. And if you don't know what Lerna is, don't worry because I didn't even know it existed before I started looking into this project. Apparently, it's just a tool to manage the projects that are split within multiple repos and packages. All you need to do is installing Lerna via npm and then use it to build and run the GitHub Artifact Exporter project as directed by the instruction in the repository. And yes, you heard it right. The GitHub Artifact Exporter project comes just with a source code, so you will need to build it yourself. And we will do this in a second. You can also find the repo link in the description down below. Second and last prerequisite is to generate a personal access token in GitHub with the read packages scope, so you can pull from the GitHub package registry. All right, let's quickly see how to install the tool or better to build it, because as I said, it comes just with the source code. First thing we need to do, of course, is downloading the package. Head to the repo, you can find a link in the video description, as I said before. And I recommend downloading the release. Click on the latest release and download the source code. I've already downloaded it, so I can just proceed with the installation. We need to use a GitHub personal access token. If you are on Linux, you can just export the npm underscore token variable, assigning the path value. If you are on Windows, you can go to the environment variable section and add the npm token, as you see here. First thing we have to do is installing Lerna, as I mentioned before. This will take just a few seconds. And now that it's done, we can start using Lerna to build and execute our project. First command we need to issue is this Lerna exec npm install in the folder where we have our source code. And this will install all the dependencies we need for all the projects. Now that all the packages have been installed, we can use Lerna link, and this has created all the sim links, and finally, Learn a bootstrap to, as the name say, bootstrap the project. And that's it. Now our GitHub Artifact Exporter is installed. All right, now that we have installed it, let's see how it works and how to use it. But first, I would really appreciate if you can like this video, because first of all, it would mean a lot to me, but also it will help this video to be recommended to more viewers and so they can benefit from it. To use the exporter, just launch the learn a run start command, and this will run the UI. We'll take a few seconds to launch. And here we have it. First of all, we need to have a personal access token that have access to the repo we want to connect to. And we paste it here. Then we need to specify the repo we want to export the data from. We need to add the owner, which is a user or an organization, and the name of the repo. We can add search parameters, define the format we want to download the file in, we can filter by date if we want to, and we can change the API URL if you are connecting to a GitHub Enterprise server instead of the GitHub Cloud. Once you've done that, just click on export and give a name to the file where the data will be exported. In my case, issues.csv. Click save and the tool will start exporting. And we are done. We can check the file. Here we have it. Let's try and see what we have here. And as you can see, we have the CSV with all the content of our issues. Let's go back to the tool and let's try to export that in JSON. Same thing, I will click on export. This time I call the file issues.json and let's check the result. And here we have the JSON representation of our issues. As I've mentioned before, the GUI version allows you to export only the issues for the time being. 
So let's try and use the CLI version of this tool. Since we have installed everything using Learner before, what we could do is go into the folder packages CLI bin, and in here we would have the run command to execute the CLI as well. However, this is not the recommended approach. The recommended approach is to install the CLI directly using npm, and this is what I want to demonstrate now. So just use the npm install for the GitHub Artifact Exporter CLI version 201, and this, as usual, will take a few seconds to install, and this will give you the executable for the CLI directly. Now that we have it installed, we can run the command. Let me open the folder. Here is where we have the downloaded files, right? Let's run first the command by itself, and this should give us the help. And in fact, here it is. We have multiple commands that we can use, and all are documented in the repo. We will see that in a second. Let's try to export some pull requests. GitHub Artifact Exporter, we need to indicate that we want the pull request with the repo pulls. Again, we specify the owner, the name of the repo, the personal access token that has access to that repo, the format we want, and the destination file. Let's try and execute this. You can see that I have the file created now, and if I try to open it, we can see that we have the export of all the pull requests. If you want to know all the commands you can use, you can go back to the GitHub Artifact Explorer repo in the packages CLI folder, and in the readme, you have the extensive list of commands and how to use them to export everything you want. For example, if you want to export the releases, these are the options, and this is how you use them with the GitHub Artifacts Exporter CLI to, again, export the releases. The GitHub Artifact Export... Artifact. The GitHub Artifact Exporter is a very nice addition to the tools that GitHub uh, offers because it allows you to export, as we've seen, all the data without actually having to interact directly with the APIs and export it in a friendly format like CSV, which therefore allows us to open those files in Excel. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this tool and if you plan to use it. And also you may want to check this video over here in which I go through how to properly review a GitHub pull request. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Coder Dave. <laughs>